Welcome along then to France, host of the world famous Tour de France. But we're not talking two wheels today, we're talking four in a country widely thought of as giving birth to the art of motor racing back in the late 1800s. We've come a long way since then and you're about to find out how far. It's time for the French Grand Prix. We have 15 corners here at the circuit, Paul Ricard, six to the left and nine to the right. The rain is coming down and making for a slippery racing surface, but luckily there is plenty of runoff available and hopefully we'll be able to avoid bringing out a safety car during today's Grand Prix. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today and how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Iceman, Verstappen, Alexander Albon, and Ricardo, Hamilton, Bottas, Stroll, and Pierre Gasly. Norris, they've taken a grid penalty. Perez, Daniel Kvyat, and Ocon. Russell, Magnussen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi. Hubert, a Williams. This is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix. Let's give them a race worth watching. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. So, today we're at the French Grand Prix. Uh, hopefully, everybody enjoyed yesterday's race. Uh, it was definitely it was a great turnout. Actually, I have no idea what, what kind of turnout it is since I'm recording this on Friday. Uh, P1 and P2 sessions were actually quite good to watch. Uh, I'm hoping to see how Max Verstappen does. Uh, in our race here, we had Lana Norris, uh, which I guess we're doing one. Stand, okay, no pit stops. Okay, uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Lana Norris did uh, did pull here, did fourth, but looks like he did a grid penalty of changing some equipment. I'm assuming. So, you know, let's not dwell around a little bit more. Looks like we're only doing no pit stops this race. Uh, I wasn't sure that was actually allowed, but I guess when you're starting on wet, it's it is. So that should be fine. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, is this our first wet race this, this season? Not a bad start using my overtake. I take a nice and easy through these corners because the tires are still cold. Like, where am I going? I don't see the track. This one's not one thing, I feel like this is one of the best worst circuit layouts. There's like infinite runoff around run spaces, there's no sand traps. And when it's raining like this, it's really hard to see some at some points where the track is, like right here. Where do we go? I feel like okay, if they got, that's a good start. If they got rid of uh, a lot of the runoff spots and put them into like sand traps or whatever. Then we would definitely have a bit more of a fun weekend. Because how does it work? I guess the outside definitely does destroy uh, tires much faster because it's blue is medium grip, uh, medium tire wear, and then uh, no, I guess the no, blue is high grip, high tire wear. Cheese. And red is ex extreme grip, extreme tire wear. I'm glad there's no DRS. One fifty four, wow. And overshot again. I 
Like normally our times would be like 131, 130. 154, that's just crazy. Both the Ferraris right behind me. Ah, ooh, almost hit that sign. Oh, I didn't hit that sign. Ah, oh, understeer. Jeez, gotta be so gentle. Wow, the, the Mercedes are nowhere to be found. What is this? That's crazy. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Definitely can go faster, but geez, this rain is just going, going, going. Using a lot of time in this, in the end of the second sector. Fastest there. Oh, I can Let's just slip. And burn some of this energy. some wear on the MG UK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. No, Jeff, we're not doing that. Charge speed is suffering, and if Relax, it gets much Jeff. worse, we could be forced to retire. We won't have to retire, don't worry. That just look good. They didn't burn through them too much. Understeer, understeer. Yeah, so when you get when you hit that standing water on the sides, now you not sit on the racing the racing store line. Is getting warm, reducing our overall. Shut up, Jeff. Okay, copy that. Let us run our race. Yeah, 
We are slowly improving here and there. Full race update. You are in first position, front of the pack, Leclerc behind. Okay, the gap behind is 4.1 seconds. They're on fresh wets. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Nine laps to go. I can feel a tail trying to step out a little bit in those slower corners. Trim we're trying to get onto the power like here, geez. Uh, not bad, not bad. Let's keep going, let's push. We're halfway through. Ooh, Kevin's in that maintenance zone. I'm assuming um, it wasn't a crash. Just car issues. I wonder where he went off. Should have been Sector 3 somewhere. Oh, not Sector 2. There he is. Yeah, looks like they probably just engine troubles. Good thing no, no issues, no, no damage. Too fast, too much. Carrying too much speed in there didn't break it up. Oh, and again, same thing there. Jeez, turn, so much understeer here.
20 five percent that'll be even harder to see where that corner is Weather update. Understood, copy that. Weather report. The rain looks like it's gonna be getting much lighter over the next 10 to 15 minutes. There should be more grip, but don't expect a dry track. Inters and wets will probably have similar pace at the moment. Yeah, I was just sticking on wets. No point of changing up anyway, it's still very wet out here and the rain's still coming through. It's definitely looking better than it was a few minutes ago. If we could just move a bit more of that standing water, we might be able to get onto the intermediates. Thanks, Jeff. I think I'll be sticking on the wets the whole race anyway. There's no point of me pinning and let's say like lap 11 or lap 12 for inters. Especially there is this much water. And I can't see there being that much, this much less water in two laps. Oh jeez. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Spare energy, use your overtake button. Are we all just stepping out a little bit there. Corner cutting. No penalty. Just about time to come and change these tires. No way. Why would we change right now? We really have three laps left to go. And the tires aren't even fifty percent yet. Come on, Jeff, what are you smoking?
Weather report. Forecast suggests the rain is going to be lightening up over the next 10 to 15 minutes or so. You should start finding more grip as we clear the standing water. Inters look like the best tire for now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think anybody's here going to stop for Inters. With just only four laps left to go. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Shuttle's got to get up to temperature, so I'll be a good lap and a half, maybe two laps. And then you'll be way far behind everybody anyway. So yeah, if I were to go in right now, I'd probably end up around 7th or 8th place. There's just no point. I need to survive with these sets of tires. condition is still looking good you gotta love Jeff oh yeah a couple laps ago yeah I think he should be coming into the to to replace these tires a few laps later oh no yeah no these tires are still looking good man keep it up understeer like crazy We're literally 16 seconds slower in the wet than we are in the in the dry, which is pretty crazy. Two laps to go. A little bit of a lock up there. of fuel remaining. Mm -hmm. Looks like the Claire is catching up a little bit. We are making mistakes. Final lap, though. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. The tires just feel shot right now. Yeah, fifty percent. Getting no under, getting so much understeer on them. My front ones are pretty bad. McLaren is pushing hard, holy. Uh, let's push. Make sure even if we get a little mix up, we can still get away from him. The rain is getting lighter now, but it's going to take a while for the track to dry out.
Uh, you know one thing I just noticed that the <laughs> the rain spots on your Halo dome they, they don't don't disappear. They just stay there even when new rain hits, or if you're going 300 plus kilometers an hour, they don't budge. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh man, we had like another six laps. The player would so catch me. Luckily, we don't. Yes, another one from McLaren. That's a race win. You've really been great today. One for our engine supplier. Yeah, yeah. A beautiful performance from McLaren today. Ant, talk to me. All right. What do you think it was that sealed the win? That was well done. I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions, and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today, and the results speak for themselves. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race. Well, just splitting the Ferrari. Sure. Well, no the Ferraris are behind as long as they split the Ferraris, but on the podium we are. So, what do we have? Let's see how the driver standings yep. have changed. Iceman increases their championship lead. Now, Jeez, let's discuss, Ant, who gap. would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I'll probably Very go big for gap. Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalize on those opportunities. And he did so drops. with a lot of skill. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Wow. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. Mercedes has been well, been Ant, an end bad to this whole season. Weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone like, who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. They're just falling off this season. Where's Norris? Norris is 11th. Not too bad. Okay. Standing wise, we're still there. Uh, Verstappen's still down there. And Kostarchers, we're still good. I right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the actual F1 Grand Prix, like I did. Um, and uh, if you like this episode, these kind of episodes, let me know. Comment down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. It definitely helps me out here. Gives me a bit more, more motivation creating content for you guys. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.